What is up everybody? Happy Monday, we are back at it. Not that we ever stopped being at it because real estate does not stop. I don't care if it's Saturday or Sunday. in South Venice. This is a property that is gonna be closing next week, so that is exciting. And what I've got behind me here, I was hoping to catch the septic guys that we had, but good news is they're already done. And I know they're done because the yard did not look like this before. Uh, what they had to do was crush the existing fiberglass tank that was on site here, and they had to install a brand new septic tank. We did not have to do a drain field. The drain field for this property actually got redone in 2003, so 17 years ago, and the health department was able to come out, determine that we did not have to redo the drain field, and, and luckily so, because that probably kept the cost down by about half. This septic tank job ended up costing us around $4,500 to get a brand new tank put in here. This is a fully permitted job, and it got knocked out exactly about a week before our closing. Now I'm gonna give the green light to my stagers to come in here, uh, get all our staging removed, one other final thing I wanted to mention is I'm sure the buyer uh, who has probably been to the house, uh, if not today, he'll be here in the next couple days, is going to see this front yard and say, that's not the front yard that I saw when I originally put my offer in on this property. But we want to make sure that we're giving uh, this buyer the same type of property that he put under contract originally with. So there will be another uh, couple hundred dollars that we need to throw into this property. But overall, uh, it's going to be a successful flip. We will make some profit on this one. And we should have a very happy first time home buyer that I got to meet during the inspections here. And I know him and his wife and his daughter are gonna be super happy with this house. But anyways, uh, let me just give you guys a quick little walkthrough of the inside of this house and uh, we're gonna move on. All right. So this is our master. And this was an interesting property because on this property, I actually uh, got to learn something new and, and go through a process that I've actually never done in the four and a half, five years I've been in real estate now. And uh, what that is, is foundation repair. So at one point, uh, there was a crack that was uh, running down the wall right there. And also, if we come back out of the bathroom here into the master, uh, there was a crack running down the uh, wall right over there as well. And so what was happening was is this side of the property, uh, just this master bedroom specifically, uh, was actually had the settling cracks that a lot of houses in Florida have, which is just due to the type of foundation, soil, uh, sand, whatever you want to call it that these houses get built on. So over time, there'll be a little bit of uh, shifting, and settling that happens. And a lot of these uh, block homes in Florida uh, will end up with some settling cracks. And usually it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the cracks in this house though, happen to be a little bit larger than what we had normally seen. So uh, we did wanna have a foundation company come out and just, and just look at it, give us an estimate to actually lift the house or lift that uh, side of the house, that bedroom, and just flatten it out because you could tell when you were walking on it, you could feel the unevenness. So uh, what happened was, is we had a company come out, actually they're called Solid Foundations. And I give the name because I, I feel like they're nationwide. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I did find them here in Florida. And I know they cover a bunch of different counties here in the Florida area. I got multiple estimates being that this is a newer type of job I had never done before. And they came out and they quoted us to put 11 pins so they call it underpinning, uh, pins under the foundation around the perimeter of the bedroom. And they go and they mark it on a sketch where each of those pins are gonna go. So they'll dig out the ground, they stick those pins under, and then they can start jacking up these pins. I, I wanna say they're like hydraulic pins. So they jack these pins up and when they do that, they can start raising the house centimeter by centimeter and making sure that they get it leveled perfectly. So we had that done on this house. It comes with a lifetime warranty on the pins. And the other nice thing about it was, 
Uh, it was a pretty reasonable price just to make sure that there would be no more uh, future issues with that and it was a permitted job. So in the price that we ended up getting, uh, we were able to get this permitted so it shows up on the records. Nothing is being hidden on this property. Uh, we went with a reputable company that offers a lifetime warranty and we're just making sure that this first time home buyer is getting a nice solid sound house. But that was neat because that was a job, something I have not dealt with before. Uh, I have not done foundation repair at that level where it required that type of equipment, that type of machinery. So. That was awesome and another new thing I did on a property where I got to learn. Again, something else that I'm bringing to you guys, sharing some knowledge with you that might hopefully help you guys save some money or avoid some costs on a future rehab that you guys do. Hope you guys got something out of that. Hope you enjoyed this quick little tour of this property down here in South Venice. Now, onward to the next day, to the next project, to the next property. We're back everyone. We're here at our Lake Sarasota rehab. There has not been a whole lot of progress since that last video. Uh, the main thing is, is uh, all the demo for the most part is done. Uh, all the trash has been cleaned out of the garage. Uh, we have our blank canvas so that we're ready to really get going on this property. Uh, all the popcorn ceiling has been removed. Everything is demoed for the most part and we are good to go. Kitchen is nice and open. As you can see here, we got in the distance. Uh, that's where our fireplace is and what will be considered the main living area. And if we uh, go through here, which uh, you guys were just staring at the kitchen, uh, we're just walking into the garage. If you and what we do have left in the garage is just some lumber from the exterior. So once everything from the inside got cleaned out, uh, we, they went around, they took a lot of the excess lumber, like there was a, a little covered awning area right at the front door when you walked in. So that's what we got left in here right now. Uh, but for the most part, this exterior does not need a whole, this exterior does not need a whole lot of work. It's gonna be grass cleanup. And then uh, I'll take you guys outside because I don't believe I've shown you guys the outside of this property yet. But what I wanna do is uh, just show you what the uh, outside looks like because the pool is gonna need some work. All right, look at that sexy pool behind me here. Don't you just wanna take a dip? This pool is something we'll get working on in probably about two weeks. I don't need to uh, jump right on it knowing that the rehab's gonna take about four weeks. Depending on uh, the condition of a pool and how much work really needs to get done, that's obviously a conversation you wanna have with your pool guy. Uh, but we know that with this pool, uh, we're not gonna need to get him out here until we're a little bit closer and further along the progress of the rehab on this property. Uh, mainly being, we just don't want any of dust, debris from pressure washing, painting, any of that uh, getting in the pool. Plus, uh, if you notice there up top, we are actually uh, missing uh, quite a bit of the screen. So this pool is gonna have to get some screening done. And that's also something we're gonna wanna have knocked out uh, before any of the actual uh, pool work gets done. So there's that pool there. It's that simple half kidney bean, or actually we should just call it a full kidney bean. Uh, but it's very common pool style design here in Florida. Uh, one nice thing, and this is something I don't uh, have on many of the properties that uh, we work on, is this screening here. So that pool screening I just showed you guys, uh, the one that's at the deck level, uh, what's neat about that is that's actually for child safety, for child protection and keeping them from falling in a pool. And that's something where I will get the details on that since uh, my wife is in the pool business along with some friends. But I know at a certain year that was actually required and it's part of the code now. That depends on the year of the home that you have and when that pool uh, got put in. So it's not necessarily the age of the home, it's the age of when the pool got built and put in. We are gonna move on. I wanna get you guys an update on our Pine property down there in Osprey. So we're gonna hit the road and take you guys down to the next property and see what the progress looks like about a week and a half in. So let's keep moving. So we're down here at Pine. We're at our Osprey rehab that's going on. It's only been a week 
and I'm not sure what you guys can see behind me here, but if you guys can see, we've already got the vinyl plank flooring down. Most of the house has already been painted. We have our five and a quarter inch baseboards that have already been put up. Some of the bathrooms are actually already underway. I'll show you guys the guest bathroom and some of the unique tile that got picked out. It looks really neat, but it's been turning out awesome. Uh, this house, it's rolling. The roof just got knocked out this past week, so that's also been completed and newer. Uh, same thing as the last property I was just showing you guys, the one that's down in Lake Sarasota. Uh, we got a situation here where we got a pool that needs a lot of work along with rescreening the entire pool cage area. So let me show you guys the pool and we'll keep moving on. As you guys can see, the screen's gotta get all redone. All right, everyone, that is gonna wrap up this week's video. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.